We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies. Coming to the plate now, Wilmer Flores. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Good night for baseball, all in all. Game time temperature 63 degrees. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Tapia, one away. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. In his career versus this pitcher, he has seven hits in 24 at bats. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And here's a pitch taken by Crawford for a ball. Three and one. On deck, there are the unique stylings of Hunter Pence. He'll be next. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. This is on the ground over to first. Gloved by Murphy. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Pence now heading for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. That is four. The left fielder, number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Stepping in now, Mike Yastrzemski. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. Hence, stands at second with two gone. Fouled off. The payoff pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. Hit out towards second. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Plate, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 1 home. Smoke toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. So now to the plate, Daniel Murphy. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Dickerson's under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Striding in for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Batting four. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He's coming off a big ball game last night in which he accounted for five runs batted in. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. So two on with two away and into bad next will be the outfielder David Dahl. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Samarja 
He carries around the nickname Shark. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. It was a three hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. All even now, two and two. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, and up next, former World Series MVP Pablo Sandoval. The 3 1. Popped up. Murphy shading to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Next to bat for the Giants, Alex Dickerson. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit on the ground out to short. Story picks it up. On to first, and there are two down. So in now for San Francisco, Brandon Belt. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Fouled away. The 1-2. And it's fouled away. The next one two pitch. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. Two out nobody on. Frozen on the fastball never had a chance and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. The 1-1. One, one. Count is 1-2 and two now. Here it comes. Seared down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. Heading out towards shallow right. On the move is Pence. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Dom Nunez. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Now the payoff pitch home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Yastrzemski will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. In now for Colorado, Antonio Senzatella. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Rockies pitcher with a bat in his hands and a one and two count. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. At the plate, Rymel Tapia got him reaching there, strike two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. third set to get underway and that'll bring up the former World Series champ MVP and rookie of the year Buster Posey two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher and he's getting his money's worth up there now it's full three and two now the payoff pitch home he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes 
And now the Giants pitcher, Jeff Samarja, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This is skied into short left center. Coming in is Dahl. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Wilmer Flores. He flew out in his last at bat. Third inning, no score to this point. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman is under it, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Daniel Murphy. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. The one two. Is a slider taken for a ball. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a diving effort, but the ball kicks off the right fielder's glove. The right fielder, number 19. In now, Charlie Blackman skied in the air to straightaway left. Yastrzemski is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So a runner at first with two away, and into bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl. Samar just sets. Here's the one and one, stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Arenado is on his way home. And the run will score as the Rockies stake themselves to an early 1-0 lead. Up next to Colorado. Not good, Bob. Into the box now. Trevor Story. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. The Rockies shortstop in front with a 3-1 count. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Ready with the payoff pitch. Popped him up. No problem over there for the baby giraffe belt, and that ends the inning. set for the start of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop Brandon Crawford one one home now to Crawford down the left field line and deep and this is going to wind up a foul ball the one two right side hit hard and that gets on by and Crawford's aboard to lead off with a single the right fielder, number eight, Hunter Pence. Into the box, Hunter Pence. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The left fielder, number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Standing in now, Mike Yastrzemski. It's three balls and a strike to the Giants' left fielder. Oh. 
changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay with the heat? Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And this throw gets away from him. And now the runner will score from third on the errant throw. So a runner at third here with one gun. And standing in now the versatile Pablo Sandoval. From the stretch. Two balls, one strike, the count. Swing and a line drive, but unfortunately right after shortstop for the second out. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the 1-1. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Here's the one two. Nope, at the ball. He struck him out, and it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Garrett Hampson. The one-two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. At the plate, Dom Nunez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's out number two. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Antonio Sensatella. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hence, will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Ready for another chance. Brandon Belt, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Brandon Belt goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. Murphy has it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now in the box, Jeff Samarja. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. It's amazing, I tell you. This guy's been absolutely cruising. The pitcher comes to the plate. You're thinking it's an easy out. You lose focus, let your guard down for a second. Now he's got a three ball count. Hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman is under it, and that's the third out. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Rymel Tapia. One and two, here it comes. Lifted the other way out to left center. Dickerson's on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty, and up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Line drive to left. 
Yastrzemski. Will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now Digging in and looking for more, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. He singled his last time up. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. And he watches a splitter for a called third strike, and the side is retired. Jairo Diaz takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 37, Jairo. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Wilmer Flores, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And this is popped up near second base. Hampson over to his right, one away. Brandon Crawford digging in next. One for two in the ball game thus far. One run on three hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And he fouls this one off. The one two pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. The right fielder, number eight, Hunter. Stepping in now, Hunter Pence. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now the Giants number four batter Mike Yastrzemski earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. The three one well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Crawford ignores his coach he's chugging for home and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Now battle. The third the plate now Pablo Sandoval really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside I know he buried that slider in right there but that's a dangerous pitch well the play's been made and that retires the side leading off the inning Charlie Blackman as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up here it comes on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Ready once again, David Dahl. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Count even at two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. So a runner at first now with one away. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. The second for one on the belt, but it won't be in time as they just settle for one. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. Samar just sets. Here's the one two. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. Another one two delivery. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. 
Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. He stays alive, still two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Here's a look over to first. Runner back safely. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another full count pitch home. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Danny Jimenez trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. At the plate now, Dom Nunez skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Jake McGee will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walters is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Now catching and batting nine, number 14, Tony one one. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. The first baseman. Brandon. Into the box now. Bell. Brandon Belt. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Dahl moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Buster Posey. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 2 1. Runners off for second. Line towards center field. Tapia is there now, and he has it two gone. Donovan Solano will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Donovan Solano. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Solano, the former Yankee, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Sam Poonrod gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. That'll bring up Tony Walters. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Fouled off. The one-two. is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Rymel Tapia. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. He takes the turn and heads for second. 
He hit the corner and tries for third. And he's going to get there. And he's in at third now as the tying run after the one-out triple. In now, Daniel Murphy. And here's a slider that misses below the knees. It's ball four. Now at the plate, Nolan Arenado. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Fastball just inside. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that will fall as he comes through. It's a base hit. And to score from third, the tying run. Tyler Rogers takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. At the plate, Charlie Blackman is put in play to the right side of the infield to Crawford for one. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Wade Davis has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 71. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Stepping forward, Wilmer Flores. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Davis playing here in his age 34 season. He was selected in the third round back in the 2004 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice break. Standing in now, Brandon Crawford. And a bunt attempt misses, so he's behind now one and two. In the dirt, but it's swung on for the third strike. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch down the first baseline. Murphy's got it, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mike Yastrzemski, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Soft liner to the left side. But little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. John Gustave is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 74, Yandel Gustave. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in the outfielder, David Dahl. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now better. Trevor Story steps in now. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Three and one. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. He's set. Here's the three and two. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Pence to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. And up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. 
Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Runner goes for second. Hit the other way out toward right field. And there to take it in is Pence, and that's out number two. Sean Anderson enters here looking to get the now final back. out before Don't the ninth it. inning. Wait. Brendan Rodgers will come on to pinch hit, hit here in a big box. spot. Number seven, Rodgers. Rodgers. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. Liner towards second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. James Pazos will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Pablo Sandoval will be the first one to greet him, as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Now a ball hit towards Story at short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So stepping in, Alex Dickerson. Alex Dickerson. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now at the plate, Brandon Belt. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the one-two. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Reyes Maranta will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Evan Longoria will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Batting first. Number one. Mauricio. One one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Pulled toward right center field. Dickerson is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The one two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Yastrzemski will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the 1 2. High and deep to right. Back goes Pence. At the track, he makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. Here's Buster Posey now. He'll be the one to lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Line drive to center field. And Buster's going to make his way aboard. He's got a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Giants. Lead off hitters aboard. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first. And that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Into the box, Evan Longoria. Two balls and a strike to Longoria. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And he 
gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Hampson is under it and he's got it for the first down. Riding into the box, Mauricio Dubon is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. At the plate now, Brandon Crawford slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. On to second, but it's a wide throw, and the shortstop can't recover. And he'll come in to score from second base, and that is a direct result, obviously, of that 4-4 throw. Stepping in, Hunter Pence. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Working for the punch-out and the offering. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Dubon rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner will score from second. And he's in safely to third as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Carlos Estevez, a right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Into the box now, Mike Yastrzemski. Called a strike and it's full three and two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the bleachers and gone. So now to the plate, Pablo Sandoval. A ball and two strikes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Copy is in pursuit. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding in once again, Alex Dickerson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see. If well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here, and that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. And there's ball two now. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And it's two balls and two strikes now. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. The 2-2 two -two is taken, ball three. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. The 1-1 home is in there for the second strike. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. I'm shocked he was even able to foul that one away. Now he's got to set his sights back over the heart of the plate and maybe be ready for something inside. One there on the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. So base is empty now after the double play. And next it'll be the outfielder, David Dahl. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Last strike now for Colorado. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 
Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. Reyes Maranta claims the win out of the pen his first. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Giants, seven runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Rockies, two runs, seven hits, one.